Hello and welcome. Um, my name is Rosie and today I'm talking with Colin. Um, he's my colleague at the Money Makes Change programme. So we're today talking about our interactive small group resource, um, which you can see here and you can download from our website. Um, Colin was instrumental in developing the material for this resource. So I'm asking Colin to share some thoughts on how to facilitate these small group sessions and how to get people talking about money and faith. So Colin, what do you think is important about the Money Makes Change programme? Why should we be getting people to, to talk and connect their faith and their finances? Well, I think a, a huge and central point is this, that we're called to love our neighbours as ourselves. Uh, and if my money choices are causing harm to my neighbour uh, anywhere in the world, um, then I need to join the dots between my my beliefs and my values and my practice. So my individual choice is important. Uh, for instance, choosing, choosing an ethical fund um, for my pension. Um, but it's even better if I can actually engage others um, and create a movement and, and make more happen. We know it can be quite challenging to talk about money and it's not something we talk much about um, and in, in one of the conversations in the workshop resource we invite people to share their own stories and um, the things that have shaped their attitude towards money. Um, so can you say something about how to handle that sensitively um, and how you might facilitate groups where people have had very different experiences? I, I think it's something that um, in my own reflection on this I realised that I'm shaped by family stories as well as life experiences and church and Bible teaching and I think different people will come with a different balance of being influenced by those kind of stories and that's part of the richness that comes out as people get talking about these things. Um, why do I find it so hard to move my money from maybe a particular institution that I've used since I was a student um, when actually they're enabling things in parts of the world which I actually don't agree with um, so why on earth would I hesitate to change um, I think sometimes stories in our background have a strange power over us um, and that may be because there's some pain it can be useful to bring that kind of uh, difference or that kind of life story into the foreground. Uh, I do think we need to be aware as group leaders um, that some stories will be painful and difficult for people to bring up. Um, that may stop them enriching the group by sharing a story unless we're very sensitive. Um, if handled well, I think the stories come out in ways in groups which actually are incredibly enriching. Um, and help us to understand the way in which we interact with the world of commerce and banking and financial choice. But you may also want to just be aware of uh, a local pastoral or counselling resource, um, someone that if they needed to, someone could go and have a chat with after the meeting just to process anything that was uh, in any way difficult. So in the resource we've got five different conversations um, and people can use them in, in lots of different ways. It's very flexible so people might just use one session or they might explore the full, the full course. Um, could you give us any kind of practical tips on how to facilitate the session? So things that work particularly well. Allowing people time to discuss uh, um, pausing long enough uh, to let them have a go. Um, having confidence in the group is also useful. Um, I think pacing it according to the pace of the group or what works, the speed of the group will have its own sense of rhythm and the amount of material they're used to using. Uh, perhaps think of revisiting the topic later um, to, do, um, uh, to do some more work rather than just push on and think, I've got to do this particular bit of material I think that only ever creates resistance. I think it also seems to be fundamental and important. I think feedback recently from someone who's used some of our materials confirmed this is this sense that um, we emphasize this sense of no condemnation, that we all come to a new place where we're trying to make a decisions in a new and eth more ethical way. We have to be 
forgiven sinners um, trying to live in in freedom and grace um, and not feel that we're going to be condemned by the leader of the group or anyone in the group and I think watching out as group leader for any sense of um, kind of one-upmanship or you know that's really important Well, we hope people are going to have some really stimulating conversations using this material um, and we hope that they'll be inspired to take action. So if you've got any, any thoughts or top tips on how leaders of groups can support that and encourage people to move from that place of learning and discussion uh, to action. I think we have had people who've done our workshops and they've gone away and I think sometimes they've come to the conclusion they want to make changes at the end of the workshop they've already just thought actually I want to do that differently I want to use a different supermarket or I'm going to change my bank um, or I'm going to talk to my pension provider about where exactly I want to have my money invested which fund I want to move to a more ethical fund so we have had that I think in other cases people will go away and, and want to think things through and particularly talk to a, a financial advisor um, uh, about what they're trying to achieve and um, getting the right balance and so on and that can take time um, I think for some of us uh, it's about why as I said earlier I have got maybe a, a long-held preference or a sense of identification with a particular brand you know why is that and I think for me it was a case of actually saying well I, I can't make a move away from Bank X right now today I, that's, I can't do it it feels wrong for me but I, I also want to begin to move into a new and more ethical way of doing this so what I'll do is I'll start a new account with Bank Y or Z and um, I'll begin to shift some of my savings into that new account which I, I believe to be more ethical um, and that can be some process that you, you find a process and a timescale that's comfortable for the individual and I'm discussing that within the group I think you know the fact that you don't have to do it all tomorrow but you can make identify one or two changes to do in the next couple of months and then you know review it in uh, in, 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 a, in a time period that feels comfortable um, I think actually then having a sense of satisfaction if you feel you've done something that that fits your beliefs and is is a kind of a working through of your your beliefs and values into practice take a moment to be still with God and just say uh, well Lord I've done the best I can um, I want to enjoy a sense of progress um, because I want to make more progress in the future and taking time to say yes that feels good that's right uh, may actually encourage then more change in the months ahead um, it's partly about kind of joining up the different aspects of my own life um, once I reflect on this a little in peace and in stillness before God I may feel a sense of wanting to bring um, wholeness uh, and expand that sense of wholeness in all my financial dealings and maybe products I buy at the supermarket are things I've already looked at but if they're not then I might think and well actually what about those products I buy which perhaps have a lot of plastic in or a lot of palm oil so time to be still can lead to a sense of growth and an expansion of that what I can that what, what I feel I can do. Is there anything else that, um, that you wanted to share? I mean, it's been really helpful to hear your, hear your thoughts um, on facilitating the workshops and some, you know, giving some really good ideas on how to do that well. Um, yeah, I think uh, I've, I've met some uh, amazing people who are well ahead of me in terms of addressing ethical financial issues and money choices. Uh, and have realised years ago that money makes change and it's been a real privilege to, to work uh, alongside them. I hope it will encourage other people to get involved in uh, a series of changes that um, make the world what we hope a better place to be. Thank you. So um, we hope people will, will really get real good use out of this um, resource and we'd love to hear your stories. So if you are using it, if you are facilitating some conversations using the resource, then do let us know whether that's on social media um, or emailing us at info at
www.orb.uk